Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. I hope you're all well and that you had an incredible Christmas and it's been quite a while since I last did a QA. and a It's probably been about seven months or so but today's the day I'm finally going to do another one and thank you as well for submitting your questions to ask as well. There were quite a few but I'm going to answer them all and hopefully it doesn't make the video too long <laughs> but I've sectioned off the questions into I think five different categories and some of you asked the same questions so I'm just going to answer those together so yeah let's get into the first topic which I'm calling apex slash gaming so the first question is what is your favorite apex legends heirloom and I'm probably going to say that it's Bloodhound's Raven's Bite. I really like the axe and the story behind it and I really like the red glow on the outside of the axe as well. I think it's really pretty and it just overall looks really nice and it's probably one of the only ones or the only one that has an actual story behind it as well, at least that we know of so far. I do like Octane's Butterfly Knife and Race Kanai as well and I'm really looking forward to Watson's heirloom whenever she gets that. I haven't actually got any heirlooms so far but even if I did I wouldn't actually get any of them until hers comes out just because I am a Watson main and I'd like hers. <laughs> so the next question is thoughts about Apex current state? This is actually a very interesting question and I'm going to combine it with another question that says one thing you'd like to see added or changed in Apex and I really do like how Apex plays but there are some known issues that people complain about a lot for example system based matchmaking <laughs> it's not great you always get paired with predators even if you're not a predator or someone who is way above your rank and has way more kills or wins than you do and it just doesn't make sense because for me i'm just like a casual player i only play what a couple hours a day if that and i haven't even been playing that much lately at all but I still get paired with people who play all day, every day, and you know, that's not exactly fair. <laughs> but I don't want to complain about it, but if people don't, nothing happens. So uh, it's a bit of a pickle, really. <laughs> but besides all that, one thing that I don't like about Apex is how they're treating the event so far because they've been putting all of the cosmetics into bundles and I really don't like that just because it kind of forces you to pay more for things that you probably won't even want for example in the Christmas event the Watson skin is paired with the Bangalore skin and I think maybe with a weapon as well or a charm or something and if I didn't buy it last year and I only wanted Watson skin this year, I wouldn't be able to do that because you can't individually buy things from the bundles. You have to buy the entire bundle, which I don't think is right. I really wish that if they are going to do this bundle thing that they let you purchase individual things or even why can't they let us use crafting metals because they let you use that in the collection events and I hope the collection events aren't dead now just because I much preferred how those worked compared to everything else and I don't know it's just I think it's EA they're money grabbers and I don't like it. <laughs> And another thing that I would like to see added actually is an updated version of Apex for the PS5 because currently it runs at 60 frames per second and it would be really nice to see it at 120 just because I think other games like Fortnite and Call of Duty have updated their games to make them maximize for the PS5 and I don't understand why Apex haven't either and I think that a dev once said that they weren't going to do that just because it was better optimized for 60 frames per second. I can't remember the exact words that they said, but I remember seeing that they were saying that they weren't going to upgrade it for the PS5, which is really sad. And I really hope that they change their mind and they do because we're next gen now and it would be nice to see an upgrade. <laughs> but moving on to the next question, it is, do you like baguettes? And yes, of course I do. <laughs> I like baguettes. Next question. This one I get so often, it's just insane. I don't know why people want to play with me, but the question is, do you play with fans and would you play with fans? And 
Every time someone asked this previously, I said not right now, or I'd say not the moment, just because, okay, this is a complicated question and I'm going to answer it now, <laughs> but I live with my family, so trying to get a quiet moment to play is a bit difficult, especially if I want to play with other people. If I want to play on my own, that's completely fine, that doesn't matter, but if I'm playing with other people, that makes it a bit more complicated just because my family and I don't want them to interfere in me playing if you know what I mean just because I don't want anyone that I'm playing with to hear them in the background and I know my sisters will purposely make loud noises or just say silly things in the background just because they think it's funny. I've always said before that once I get my setup moved that I will be able to play then but that won't be until a while because my parents are actually doing an extension on our house and that's going to take a while and it hasn't started yet. Once that extension is finished, I'll have a new area where I can put my setup and literally have no interruptions. But that won't be until probably the end of next year. And I've been thinking about this and about playing with fans. I don't actually like to call you all fans. I prefer to call you viewers just because, I don't know. <laughs> but I have been thinking about it and I probably will want to give it a go but I think what I would first do is probably create a is it what is it called a guild is that what it's called in Apex the little group club things <laughs> I don't know what they're called the group things in Apex I think maybe it'd be wise to probably create one of them first name it something and then have you all join that way just because I think it'll be easier to manage and yeah then we can try and see how it goes and I'm also very shy so I am a bit scared to do it so that's why I've been also putting it off but I do want to try so once I get this set up I will I'll probably put it out on Twitter so if you do want to play with me look out for Twitter as well and I will tell you when I have that set up and then you can all join it and stuff and I also need to figure out a name for it if you have any name suggestions that would definitely quicken up the process because I'm terrible at coming up with names so if you want to help me speed this along let me know some suggestions for club names below as well so overall once I get this club thing set up and you all add it then we can plan out how we can all play together <laughs> okay that was a very long answer to that question but quickly moving on because there are quite a few questions um the next one is flatline or g7 always flatline i really love the flatline it's one of my favorite weapons as well as the longbow as well uh next question is what is your favorite apex legend skin so far it's the watson dynamite skin i really love it it's so pretty it's still one of my favourites. It's an epic skin that was in the Black Friday sale last year. And sadly they didn't bring that one out this year as well. But yeah, that one's my favourite. The next question I didn't actually understand. So I literally have no clue. They said, does small rev deserve fish? And it was a video of a small rev and he had like a fish head on him. I, I don't know. Does he deserve fish? I'm going to say no. I don't know <laughs> but the last question in this category is what was your first gaming console and I think it was the PS1 I did have the PS1 and well I've actually had every PlayStation but I can't really remember playing on it much I know that we had it but the PS2 I remember playing on a ton I played on that all the time the PS2 was more my era, I guess, compared to the PS1, but I probably did play that first. So the next category is art, and the first question is favourite artists. So there are quite a few that I do like, which are Ross Draws, Dave Greco, Sakimi Chan, Nubovich, and I do really like a lot of the League of Legends splash art, and I kind of aspire to draw more like that, just because I really like the style, and I really want to be able to draw at that level too. The next part of their question was, were there any inspirations that made you interested in drawing? And I'm also actually going to link that up with the next one, which was, who inspired you and how was your journey as an artist? So... 
Iyote Sakimi chan, I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> she actually was probably one of the very first artists to inspire me. I really liked her art style and she used to draw very fantasy things and I really liked that. Apart from what she draws now is very, very different and not really my taste anymore just because it's a lot of not safe for work stuff and I don't like that. But that's probably why I kind of stopped following her as well, just because that's not my taste, it's not my style, I don't really like that stuff, and I don't want to see that stuff. So <laughs> that's kind of why I kind of dropped off of that, but nevertheless, her art is still incredibly beautiful, but I preferred her older artwork just because of the type of things she was drawing. And I do live in the UK by the way, so our education system is probably different to yours because I think most of you are from America, if I'm not wrong. <laughs> I know some of you aren't, but I think most of you are from there, so your education system is much different to mine. So from GCSE to A-level and university, I did art, but in university I actually studied animation and I remember in IT, information technology in secondary school. They actually did an animation topic in there and I really liked it and I think maybe that was one of the turning points for me as well where I could explore that more. With the next question it is what is your job in real and my job is an animator but I'm more of a generalist. So a generalist animator is someone who does pretty much everything. So I work for a small video production and animation company and we make animations and videos for other companies to advertise their products or services and we are a small team so we kind of have to step into every role and we also have joke job titles so mine actually is animation assassin <laughs> it's pretty funny but that's what they gave to me and i really like working there <laughs> I don't do YouTube full time, I don't earn a penny from YouTube, mainly I have a full time job as a generalist animator. <laughs> and the last question in this category is why do you draw cute things? So, <laughs> so I really like cute things, okay? Everyone needs a little bit of cuteness in their life so I'm just I guess that person to spread some apex cuteness with Small Watson and all the other small legend I'll eventually do in the future. So that's it with the art category and we're now on to YouTube. So the first question in this category is what inspires you to make content on YouTube? I actually used to have a YouTube channel a while ago back when I was 15, 16 or something and it was actually a gaming channel as well but more focused on The Sims because I was extremely obsessed with The Sims back then. I just loved it. It was a Sims 3. I used to play it all the time and I don't actually play it anymore, but I just started to make content on there just because I saw another Sims YouTuber who was called, I think, Life Simmer. I'm not sure if they make content anymore, but they were the ones who I used to watch all the time and I guess I just wanted to be like them and make content as well. I did feel like YouTube actually helped my confidence and it's partly one of the reasons why I started YouTube again now. After university I decided to make a new channel and which is basically dedicated to Apex as well as other games as well just because I don't really want to be solely Apex focused but I noticed that it helped my confidence and I thought if I started again now maybe it will help it further and I ended up really enjoying it and I really like making videos it's very fun and being able to engage with everyone as well and just being able to be part of a little community because the Apex community is so nice. I felt like making YouTube videos was also a way to give me purpose. I felt like I was drawing and I was just playing games and it kind of felt like a waste because it wasn't going anywhere. It just felt empty and it kind of felt like there was a void. So I thought why not make a YouTube channel because maybe it will fill that void and it did and I'm really glad that I started making YouTube videos again and we're actually close to a thousand now which is very cool and I really appreciate it so much and I'm so sorry if this video is becoming very long as well because I'm just rambling on but <laughs> I really do appreciate it but 
On that note, let's quickly go on to the next question, which is how can I become a better YouTuber? So to be honest, I don't think I'm very qualified to answer this question just because I am small myself and I guess I would need to see your content first. But what I did was I used to make one video every week like I still do and try and get into a routine of doing that and I've seen that some people say to upload as much as you can because of the algorithm and stuff but I don't think that you should try to force yourself to upload every single day if you can't do that because maybe you have school or work as well. For me I had work so I couldn't really upload more than once and I still do that's why I can only upload really once a week instead of pushing myself to make more although sometimes I do do that but <laughs> that's because I want to and you shouldn't feel forced to make a YouTube video if you don't want to do it that week don't do it. You need to find a middle ground and upload as frequently as you possibly can without sacrificing the quality as well. You just need basic things. I mean, I started out making YouTube videos using some free screen recording software and my phone as the microphone. <laughs> That's what I used to do back when I was making my Sims videos. <laughs> but yeah there's not much i can really say about that without seeing it but one youtube channel i will recommend is one called alpha gaming i think they're called they give out a lot of advice about making content online and i just think that they're very useful to have a look at so maybe that will help you so our next question is what's your favorite video of yours so far i find this question extremely hard to answer just because i kind of cringe whenever i watch my old content do you know when I make a video, I don't actually watch it again, like pretty much ever. I'll watch it when I'm editing it, obviously, and I'll watch it at the end when it's all done just to make sure there aren't any errors or anything. And I don't watch it again after that. Or if I do, I'll turn the sound off just because I don't like listening to myself talk. And I think most people are like that. But I don't know, it kind of makes me cringe and I don't like listening to myself. But if I do have to pick one, then I guess maybe the Demon Souls video that I made. Just because I kind of, I guess I felt more proud of that one for some reason. I don't actually know why that I did, but I just, there's just something about that one that I really liked. Although it didn't do that well, but oh well. <laughs> Not much I can do about that, but some people seem to enjoy it and... I enjoyed making it, so I guess that one. But swiftly moving on to our next category, it is anime. And the first question is, do you watch anime? And the answer is, yes, of course I do. I really love anime, it's just very fun to watch and there are so many great ones out there. And actually the next question is, which one is your favourite? And someone else actually asked as well, any favourite anime? <laughs> but I think my all-time favourite anime is probably actually this is going to be controversial and i just want to explain first <laughs> that the only reason i'm picking this anime is just because it's more sentimental to me and i know that the story isn't great in it at all and it's had very controversial thoughts about it and stuff but sword Art online is actually my favorite anime <laughs> i can i can just feel like the amount of negative thoughts about that but sort of online i only like it because it has sentimental value to me but i will say that the first season was the best season at least the first half that was my favorite part but in terms of story and other things i have so many more anime that i really love just to name a few demon slayer attack on titan promise neverland blue exorcist full metal alchemist Tokyo Ghoul and Erased. There are so many more. Oh, Naruto as well. I really love. There's literally so many that I could name. All of those I know are better than Sword Art Online. <laughs> I'm gonna say it. I know they are. But it's just Sword Art Online means more to me. I can't tell you why. It just does. <laughs> okay, now that we got that out of the way, the next question is: If you watch Naruto. Chidori or Rasengan. I'm so sorry if I said that wrong. I probably did. But I'm gonna say Rasengan. I don't exactly have a reason. I just like that one more. 
And now moving on to our last topic, which is general, which I've just called it general because I didn't know what else to call it. But <laughs> our first question in this category is, what are your favorite types of food to eat? So, oh God, this one's going to be controversial too. <laughs> I'm gonna say pizza, that's my favourite food maybe, but the type of pizza I like is going to be controversial because I really like Hawaiian pizza. Yes, I like pineapple on pizza, don't hate me please. <laughs> I just really like it, it's just my favourite type. And but I'll eat any type of pizza apart from pepperoni. I don't like pepperoni and I don't like bacon. Oh god, the food, the stuff that I don't like, is just, I'm just gonna get hated on for that. <laughs> It, I just don't like it. <laughs> and then I really like a lot of sweet stuff, if you class that. Well, actually, no, it's food. You can class that as food. You know, ice cream, cake. Moving on, our last question <laughs> is How are you doing with your violin lessons? So, a lot of you probably don't know this, but I do play the violin and I am very much a beginner. <laughs> I've only been playing for a few months or so. But so I used to play every day, but I eventually stopped playing it that often. And especially since I did have COVID, I didn't play at all during that period and do anything just because I felt too weak to and I was just too sick to. So I didn't do that, but I have been picking it up every now and again. I haven't been playing every day like I used to, but I do want to pick it up more often and play more often and hopefully get better at it and probably still pretty much at the state i was previously <laughs> although i have learned a few new songs and stuff and yeah it's very fun to play but it's very difficult to learn too and i also don't have a teacher so i am teaching myself using online videos and things so that does slow the process down but I'm trying to get there, hopefully I'll get there, but I'm only doing it as a hobby. I wanted to give it a try, especially since Covid and we've all been in lockdown and stuff. I thought it'd be a nice thing to pick up and I find it fun to play when I do play it. So hopefully I will get better at it as time goes on. But that's all the questions. And I'm going to try and cut this video down as much as I can because currently it's like 40 minutes long and <laughs> I've been talking for too long. But I hope that you enjoyed this Q&A and remember that if you do have any more questions that you'd like to ask me, you don't have to wait until the Q&A to ask me any questions. You can just ask me in the comments anywhere and I'll answer them for you. But thank you so much for those of you who asked me questions and those of you who even watch this. But <laughs> I really do appreciate you all and yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye!